morning, Richard. Morning. Nice to uh, to catch up with you again for the fourth instalment of our series of hangouts. Today, I'd like to ask you some questions about high traffic. So, what is high traffic? How do I recognise high traffic? Unfortunately, very often, I guess people are aware of high traffic or spikes in traffic when when somebody complains <laughs> or or your hosting provider informs you that your server's um, experiencing high CPU usage or high bandwidth usage. So I guess the first thing you need to do is make, and I know this is fairly obvious, but you need to make sure that you're you're actually aware of what's going on on your site. The obvious one is Google Analytics. Um, sometimes some log file analysis as well might be quite useful, but I, I would say that's your, it's better to be it's better to know before, I guess, your customers or your advertisers about what's going on. So I, I think getting some decent analytics software on, on your site first is probably the most important thing. Okay, excellent, thank you. So what can we what can we do about it? The big one is caching. The big one is caching here, which is from our um, previous discussion. Caching will allow you to, to deal with um, will allow you to deal with either spikes in traffic or or maybe it really again and when we touched on this in the last discussion your, your, your traffic profile exactly what is what is going on on your website is it a few pages that are experiencing very very high numbers of, of hits or is it a very big site that's experiencing a few requests to say each post or page so you've got to understand your your, your your traffic um, profile, and then you can you can choose either a caching um, uh, technology that will work for you, or you need to um, or you need to just just spend some time with your analytics to get a get a better understanding of, of exactly your profile. Okay, so what strategies can I take? What what, what are the things? What are my options in terms of dealing with? Um, High levels of traffic. So, if you've got a few pages that are being hit very, very high numbers of times, so say for example you share something on your social media, you have a hundred thousand followers, and actually what you find is that two or three pages, for example, receive huge numbers of hits. For this, in this particular scenario, a caching service, either a managed caching service or getting a caching plugin onto your site, will most likely be able to deal with um, to deal with this particular traffic profile because it's not it's not a huge leap to have a few pages served many 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 times the caching um, is particularly good at that if you have a very broad traffic profile so say you have 60,000 um, posts and actually what you find is that a f you know a few requests to each post are happening over the course of say an hour so actually you're serving high traffic but it's very broad in your traffic volume then you need to start thinking about getting a load balancer in place and actually putting multiple machines to actually serve that content caching servers will only cache stuff or content that has been requested within a time scale before so and this is normally configurable so say you you want your homepage cache for five minutes. Somebody comes in five minutes apart, then it, they will still hit the web server. It's only the request in between. So if your traffic profile is very is very it's a it's a very broad website, a very big website in terms of, of, of content, then actually you need to start looking at load balancers and multiple web servers to actually serve that content. Caching in that instance isn't necessarily going to help. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, just so that we can give people some some takeaways, are there any recommendations, uh, things that people can go away and think about? Again, get to know your site, get to know and get to know your 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 peaks in traffic. I think that's the most important thing. Like I say, very often when when you have a problem it's far too late to do any data analysis so now is a good time using your analytics package or even using your Apache access um, logs to find out how many requests you have of what type 
during which hours of the day. So how many 200s, you know, successful HTTP requests are you serving? How many 404s are you serving? And we often we find with WordPress that cheap people will change their permalink structure, something something will change and maybe you have an old site map in place and, and you're serving huge numbers of 404s. This is something I, well, one of the first things I check on a website is, is or a WordPress website, is how big and how quickly is your 404 generated and then how often is it being served. So that, that's a very specific, but I think get to know your site, get to know your site profile, get to know when it's busy so that when something goes wrong, i.e. your web server, falls over or you're experiencing very very high CPU usage or memory usage or bandwidth usage you actually know what's going on so that you can do something about it. Excellent, thank you. I think um, I've certainly learned how to this one. So thank you Richard and catch you on the next one. Thanks Paul.